the concept has always been you need to be with other actors to be able to act. You can spend your day with people and every situation you're in, that is a scene in your life. If you embrace strangers and work with the concept that whoever you are bumping into, uh, that is uh, serendipitously or uh, unfortuitously or fortuitously or uh, unplanned or planned or just happenstance. The point I'm making is that is a time for you to be available instead of not being interested in the moment. There's a chance for you to exercise your spontaneity, exercise your interest level, exercise your emotional capacity and passion, compassion to interchange with other human beings. And by doing that, you will find that you'll be in better shape when you audition than if you waste a day not being interested in people and waiting for you to be in a workshop to do a little scene when you could have been actually interacting with people all the time and staying in very good emotional and uh, uh, mental state of creative uh, choices. So don't waste your life thinking that if you can't afford to be in a workshop or be around other actors that you cannot drill what it is you need to drill, meaning uh, the actual scenes of life that you uh, normally do in a workshop. You can do it all day long. What I'm really trying to get at here is people's lives I've observed are so disjointed, so stressful, so hopeless and hapless and absolutely out of control and financially crippled. And so stay motivated, stay active and also prepared. So when they do get a phone call, do get an opportunity, they'll go in knowing that they've been staying in shape and that they shouldn't feel like if they're not in a workshop that therefore they're not any longer uh, someone who is deserving of an opportunity. Having to work so hard at whatever job they are just to survive, it's, uh, it's a shame that they're told that they're not in a workshop, that they're not an actor. It's like saying you're not a human being. <laughs> I found it outrageous. It's like this sales tool thing to get people to do things because they want to make money from you and that they guilt you into it. And they don't say that there are things you could do on your own that could keep you in, in good shape. Uh, people who can't afford gyms, they work out at home. Take a look at the film Rocky. He couldn't afford a membership to a gym. He was thrown out of the gym he was a member of and he had to work out on the streets of Philadelphia. He drank raw eggs, ran in the morning, beat up on, uh, on uh, and had, you know, dead animals in the, in the butcher shop where uh, Paulie worked. And it just showed that you do what you can with what you have to get to the next level to see how people interact and also to be out there and observe in your own real life. And that's where you can draw upon the detail of what it is you then can include in your work in film and television or in the theater. Now, let me just tell you this. As an alumni member of the Tony Award Honoree, the acting company, which was dedicated to young actors doing classical theater, um, It was a great training ground for discipline, for traveling and, and meeting people and understanding that the classics can inspire, enlighten, and can give you an inner a confidence that uh, is very, very valuable. However, working in theater is much more of a luxury for an actor. You get four weeks of rehearsal, you get to work on this one role, and then you do many, many performances of it, hopefully. Very different than television, which is you get a script a week, you shoot it, it's over, it's done, and you move on. And they don't have a lot of time for rehearsal. <clears throat> so you're mostly playing roles that you're typecast. And actors are told, you know, typecasting isn't a good thing. Well, if it helps you earn a living, 
it's a very good thing. And if you're able to make enough money to afford to pick and choose jobs, it's a very helpful thing. That's where commercials became valuable for actors because of the cash flow. It allowed them to buy some time so they didn't have to wait on tables all the time if they did enough commercials. However, what I wanted to tell you is uh, in television, it's, it's about fast. It really is. And, in, 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 you know, you want to do as much quality. But if, if you can learn to work quickly and understand, just like in life, when you meet someone, you talk to them, you didn't rehearse it. Boom. You met them, you talked to them. You might have been told them a story about how something upset you and you immediately cried that you shared a moment. You didn't rehearse it. If you can think like that in real life and you're that compassionate and you're able to move through emotions very, very easily and comfortably, then just apply that technique of what you do in your own life by living it fully to a role at any given time. And don't overwork yourself thinking you have to over-prepare because the truth is you've been preparing your whole life 